good YouTube. All right, uh, today I got y'all with a little tutorial, a little song for me. So most of y'all probably noticed, but with the Five M's most recent update, I don't know if they messed up their console or whatever they did, but in F8, but the commands you used to be able to do, you can't do them no more. So today I'm gonna show y'all how to be able to like do any command, like turn your crosshair off if you ask me to turn yours on, because I know before. The update I turned mine's on and I couldn't turn it off because I don't like how it looks like when you aim in that little extra white dot in detail. Show you how to take that off because I know with me it interferes with my crosshair and it messes up the way I play. So I'm gonna show y'all today. So like usually you would do profile most for reticle size minus 10. But as you see where it says access denied. So if I do like if I do 10 whatever I do it don't work like that shit broken but uh yes yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to do it let's get right into it all right first thing y'all want to do is if you right here on your home screen feel me I recommend doing this like on your desktop or whatever you want to press Windows key do R get uh, type uh, hit run and run type in app data press all right okay go to roaming go to citizen FX Yours, mine says 5M, it might say 5M.CSG, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's right here next to your GTA 5 settings. You gonna right click it, and then do open with notepad. And then right here, this is basically like anything. Like if you have bind space keyboard, I know you can bind stuff now within regular stuff, but if you didn't know how to bind anything, that's how you do it. You do bind space keyboard, space the key, and then a the little things right there you would type whatever like dv th carry r i have mine for respawn on rg service th piggyback and then these right here these are like the commands for your fps i know you used to do this a long time ago before 5m added the option to do it in f8 see on this one draw fps where you do it through steam but it's how you know you're in the right section you want to look for seta profile underscore reticle side it'll be right here. you could change this too I did I just realized this I just seen this this is like your dead zone for you know your aim and stuff you could tweak that it might help your aim a little bit or if you just want to mess with it see how it is but uh let's see all right this is right here I'm kind of blowing set up profile underscore reticle size leave that alone you want to see you want to do the profile space underscore reticle size or not nah, this is just reticle don't mess with that reticle size <clears throat> right here it would be like this i know this is what i have mines on yours might be five it might be ten to take the crosshair completely off do minus ten and then after that uh you could go up here to file save boom that's it just load up 5m you should be good now here's this stuff but once again like sniper zoom that like you could change this is all optional stuff i don't know what it might do like if it might mess up just revert it back to what it was but yeah acceleration binding your setting up key binds everything that's how you do everything every since uh five have made the most recent update took it out of the f8 commands and stuff that's where you go to the windows key r run app data type in app data right here roaming citizen fx 5m and then i'm gonna just throw this in here for y'all that didn't know how to do it this also helps your fps you can go into your gta 5 settings open up notepad boom um take if you want to take your shadows off you go down here see where it says ultra shadows shadow particles anything that has like shadows shadows it will say true just type in false false for all the shadow stuff and then right here where you see shadow quality value boom put that to zero once you're done doing that file save boom shadows off so you take your uh take your crosshair off too through 5m there y'all go that's how you do it all right so i don't usually make videos like this if there's something else that i know how to do that probably people don't know how to do or there's no video on it i might post another one y'all let me know but yeah see y'all next video